Look at the adjective. Play. guys, welcome. JFM Studios here to give you a recap video of Arctic Comic Con 2018. Now this is the first convention that I went to this year and it's the very first Arctic Comic Con. Now what's that? It is a new comic convention in Anchorage, Alaska. Now Anchorage is Alaska's largest city so they wanted to butt into the whole comic scene. There is SenshiCon which is an anime convention down there so I guess some of the uh, same people that kind of um, uh, made Senji Khan, um, they want to do something for more mainstream comics and, and movies and all that, so they made Arctic Comic Con, and it was a success. It was a little smaller than Senji Khan, but still, it was a, a success for me, and I'm sure it was a success for the people um, running it. Now, before I start, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Braxton. He, I met him before. He was um, uh, the guy who, or one of the guys who helped make uh, uh, Senji Khan, and he, and he um, helped with this one, Arctic Comic Con. So he recognized me. I, uh, you know, I said hi to him, and I remember one time at PopCon, he, uh, he, uh, that's when we first met. He bought one of my uh, books, and I, I still remember that. You know, and he watches this video, and just in case he watches this video. Uh, I say hi. Hi to Braxton. Thank you for everything. Alright. Now this is a recap video. I'm just going to show you footage of, of what I captured there. Um, of course, a little bit of the hotel room and talks. And I interviewed people. I, I met new friends, new artist friends. And I met a celebrity, or a celebrity to me, which was uh, very cool. So, enough of me rambling. I tend to ramble and stumble, my, and stumble on, on my words, you know. So, without further ado, here is Arctic Comic Con 2018. There it is. The building all the way there will host Arctic Comic Con. What well, is Arctic Comic Con? It's a brand new convention uh, here in Anchorage. And if you remember, I was in Anchorage last time uh, for SenshiCon. That was all the way back in uh, September. But yeah, it's nice to be here again. I make this a routine. I could be in Anchorage twice a year. Yeah, and I got a better view of the city than last time. <clears throat> I'm in the same hotel, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's just a short walk. It's a very short walk from here. So, yeah, nothing to sneeze about. I should, I should go, I should head there soon. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a tour of the, a mini tour of this place uh, later. Nothing too special, just, um, it, it's the same as last time, except uh, the, the bed is in opposite directions. Well, um, due to my uh, busyness of, you know, the quickies and, and episode 14 and, and other things, I don't have anything new. Um, I'll just uh, sell the same old things. I have copies of my books too, but to a potential you know new audience. So there you have it. The next convention I'll be at will be in June in in Montana, and by then I'll have some new stuff. But here, since since it's a uh, a new convention, I decided eh, it's okay to sell the old things, you know. So yeah, wish me luck. Although. If you wish me luck in the comments section, it's too late, since it's like a, probably a week later. <laughs> you know how I do things, uh, whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's start. Alright, this is my space, my table, before setting up. So yeah, I'm gonna do it now. But yeah, this is the whole floor, right before the show. Can't wait, I'm gonna be walking around, show you guys different artists 
different stuff. So yeah. All right, I'm just about done setting up. So yeah, got the books, of course, with the uh, deals if you buy them in bundle. I updated my uh, the side of my pouch here. Small prints, of course. Accepting uh, commissions. And here is the banner. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Alright. So, yeah, people are still setting up. I'm next to video games again. They got a whole bunch of consoles like the N64. Xbox, it looks like a Xbox One, 360, yep. It's 11 o'clock, the VIP should be coming soon, and yeah, let's see how this day will, uh, will go. That's the thing about these conventions, you know, the time goes by so quickly, e even if I'm just standing here, it's 11 o'clock one moment and then all of a sudden it's two o'clock or something, you know? Hello, I'm coming through your booth. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Sampling the mutant from Deadpool 2. When does Deadpool 2 come out? What is that? You know when that full movie comes out, Mike? Did I don't know. Deadpool I have movie? no idea. I don't pay attention to the movies. It is next weekend. Okay. Wow. Look at that. So make sure you check that out. Welcome everybody. Yeah. All our celebrities are here on Celebrity Row. Oh my gosh! Really? The day has just begun and I've already seen a lot of flesh. That's awesome. <laughs> I know that's not enough. This is crazy. I got a whole bunch of commissions to do. I just finished this. I got it's crazy. I'm, I'm running out of commission paper. I'm gonna have to stop doing these maybe tomorrow. But you know, people saw me drawing and they want themselves drawn or other characters drawn. And I'm like, okay, can I can't refuse. So yeah, I haven't got a chance to stand up and and, and look around. I know people are talking. Uh, the panels are all the way there. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll gain some more footage and pictures tomorrow. So, yeah, look at that guy. Awesome. <laughs> All right, just got done with this commission. First time I've actually done one of these with the variant covers. But he wanted Rick and Morty dressed as Cable and Deadpool, respectively, killing Darth Vader. And here he comes now. Got it done. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. First too many. Yeah. That'll be about uh, eighteen dollars. Oh, thank you. The slipper. Oh yes, here it is. Uh, I should put it back. Or, or you. That's fine. Yeah, not bad. This isn't a bad day. Glad you did good today, my friend. Hopefully tomorrow you're doing better. Yeah, I hope so. So it's a little after six, almost time to close up for the first day. And look at this list for the first day. I don't think I've ever made this much in the first day of a convention. Usually the last day is the best, but I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow brings. Wow, this is, this is awesome.
Saturday was a huge success, huge success. I sold a lot of commissions. I sold so much that I ran out of commission paper. And yeah, I'll show you a slideshow of the different p pictures I drew. I drew, um, you know, kids as fairies. I drew kids, you know, with Five Nights at Freddy's characters. I drew uh, uh, horror movie monsters like Jason, Freddy, Norman Bates. Norman Bates. What? I also drew uh, this crazy Rick and Morty Darth Vader uh, crossover. This guy, you know, he had a very New York accent, but, you know, he approached me, asked me if I could uh, draw, you know, Rick and Morty, have Morty dressed as uh, Deadpool and Rick dressed as uh, Cable, and, you know, they killed Darth Vader. He gave me this variant cover. It's, you know, it's supposed to be a cover, you know, of a comic, but you draw on it. I never had one of those before. I was so nervous. I It, it was the very last thing I drew, because I'm like... I don't want to mess it up or anything, but it turned out great. He loved it, you know, it was well worth the money. He told me to keep the change, so I thank him, you know. I have his business card, and I'll show it to you a little later, but man, that that was quite an experience. Quite an experience. Lesson learned. Bring more paper. And for the next convention, I just might bring my colors. So, yeah. Man. Who knew? That would happen. I didn't. Not me. No, sir. Just wanted to let you know that I'll be going real soon to the convention. And look at that. We see flags. How many countries are there? There's, you know, looks like there's Great Britain, Norway, Japan, uh, Australia in the back. I think that's Russia. United States, of course. In the back, I think that's uh, a made-up flag. And uh, the Alaska flag. So yeah, I don't know why they're there. It's, it's like this is almost like the United Nations. This Easy Park parking lot is the United Nations in Anchorage. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um, I was about to tell you guys my dream I had last night, but yeah, no one cares, you know. It, it it was just so shocking to me because it had my uh, uh, ex-girlfriend from high school. For some reason, and um, yeah, it kind of creeped me out. It kind of shocked me. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 let's continue the convention. Whatever. I'll set up later. I'll just uh, walk around the the show before everything starts. So yeah. to drop by and buy some Star Fox. I don't have that. doing good <laughs> the next uh, blanket yeah mm -hmm. we're trying a different kind this year so yeah so I've seen on your Facebook that you went to Japan yeah back in December for a couple weeks yeah uh, pretty awesome <laughs> but that was fun I, I never been to Japan before yeah, I highly recommend it. It was actually pretty easy because I don't know any of the language, mm -hmm. but it was actually pretty easy. I mean, it had some challenges, but it was pretty simple to get around and do stuff. Yep. So, Hockey Bar was just, it's like a toy collector's dream out there, man. Uh-huh. 
six story tall buildings, just nothing but floor, floor of toys. Uh huh. Crazy. Yeah, it, I have to go there one day. So yeah, anything new? Not too much. I mean, the, this con kind of came out, you know, a little close after CinchCon, so I'm just really selling just leftovers. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah, I'll have new stuff for next CinchCon, but this, the, like I said, the timing on this one just didn't work out to get too much new stuff outside of like a blanket. That's about it. So you got Optimus Prime here. Yeah. Like I said, I kind of went simple with this run, so. Yeah, I actually had a pretty successful first day. That's good. Mine's a little bit slower, but I figured it's kind of just a test run for a new convention anyway, so. Yep. Hello, I'm here with Connor and Devin, my booth neighbors. They are here at Arctic Comic Con. Ooh. This is their very first convention and they're killing it today. Oh, thanks man, you're killing it too. Yeah. So, um, tell everybody what you do. Uh, well, my name's Connor Bartel and I sell, or I write Grim Crossing. I'm selling it here at the con. The artist is named uh, Adagun Ilhan and he uh, lives in Turkey. And he wishes he could be here. And um, I draw chibis and all sorts of different art, so I'm selling that here today. Yeah, I gotta commission you. I I want you to draw my uh, my mascot. Got okay. it. I can yeah. do that. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. That's actually sad. I'd love to see what that looks like. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I've seen other people draw my characters too. Uh huh. Yeah. So how how did you find out about this uh, convention? Our neighbor is the promoter. We found out about it before he, before they announced it, and uh, I was like, I want to jump on it right away. It's the first con in Alaska, or first Comic Con in Alaska ever, but it's also the first con since I have Finch product. So uh -huh. I was really excited to do it. He was really cool to help us out, Brad. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think I saw Brad walking around. Yeah, he's the he's the awesome voice. Uh, yeah. Uh, on, the, on the on the speaker. Yeah, he's yeah. on talking. She didn't notice it either. She's like, this guy's killing it. I was like, that's Brad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool setup. I like the, that the panels are in the show floor. Oh yeah. yeah. Instead of in another room. Cool too, because like I'm, I'm not, I can listen a little bit. And I don't want to leave my table to go to the panel for like an hour. Yeah, it's really great. The acoustics in here is awesome. Yeah. You got to listen to the lady from Black Panther and Kenny Moore uh -huh. uh, talk about her wrestling. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, and as a wrestling fan myself, I got to listen to Chavo Guerrero. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was one of my favorites. Him, Eddie, Ray Mysterio, and uh -huh. Batista. But now Batista is in Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh huh. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how wrestlers are turning into actors. Yeah, well, yeah. like yeah, like Rock did it really successfully. Mm -hmm. And like, I like John Cena's acting, but I guess other people seem to have an issue with it. Yeah. And, and but uh, I was really surprised at how successful Dave was. Dave Batista. Uh huh. I really enjoyed him in Guardians of the Galaxy. And he was in the new Bond movie, wasn't he? As like as like one of the henchmen. I didn't see it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I like your monitor. Yeah. That's Literally a good idea. Uh -huh. I gotta do that. Dude, it's so it was so easy. If you look over here, it's just it's just a TV taped to a, a nightstand. Uh-huh. And I and I, I definitely think it's like easily the biggest reason why I'm selling as much as I did, you know. It's so. a big eye catcher. Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot of people don't even realize it's just a regular TV. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so where can we follow you? Uh, you can follow Grim of Crossing right there. Grim that Crossing. stuff. Uh, you can also uh, go to GrimofCrossing.com. You get issue one for free there if you put in your email. 
And if you uh, go to my website, carnabartel.com, that has some short comics you can read there for free too. Awesome. Yeah, and then if you like my art, you can follow me at Fire With Art Fire on with Instagram. Art. Got a bunch more stuff there, so. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, man. Yeah, and I wish you luck on this day. Uh, what? You're killing it over there too. Yeah, thanks. That in the interview for sure. Uh huh. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. See ya. Hello, I am here with Zach Leslie. He is a fellow illustrator and graphic designer. All right. <laughs> and this is his booth, and I love, I love his work here. Thanks, man. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of booth neighbors, and I'm, he's uh, two booths away from me. Yeah. So, yeah, tell the, uh, tell the audience what you do and how you started. All so, right. I've always been kind of drawing cartoons all my life. You know, that was always my big passion growing up. Uh, I was always heavily influenced by um, like traditional Golden Age era animation and a lot of like, classic Hanna-Barbera cartoons. I just always practice drawing that and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I went to, the, I was always switching degrees all the time in college. And uh, I took an art class and just kind of found out that I still had that knack. And a professor told me, like, hey, you know, uh, you already have a very distinct style at a young age. You need to really go with this. Like, I think you can find some success. So that's kind of how I got my start. I studied illustration at Boise State. Um, I graduated with my degree, and I would do a bunch of the comic cons around Idaho and Oregon with some of my good friends from my illustration classes. Uh, we called ourselves the Sketch Rats. We were kind of a little group of illustrators, and yeah, we would just work these comic cons. We'd sell our art prints. And, you know, I, after a while, I was starting to get kind of tired of the heat back in America. You know, I never uh -huh. really left the state. Never really left Alaska growing up. Uh -huh. So I decided to come back. And, you know, the art scene started to pick up in Alaska, and yep. now I can actually apply what I've learned in uh -huh. Alaska. And, uh -huh. and <laughs> yeah. Great to be back. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I really love the um, the liquor bottles with the with the video game characters. Yeah. Thank you, man. That, uh, that actually started with a very funny autocorrect error. Uh, uh -huh. One of my buddies was like, "Hey, dude, what are you doing tonight? We're all going out." I was like, oh, I'm just gonna stay and play Majora's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, that's got a good, pretty good ring to it. It's almost too perfect. My favorite uh -huh. whiskey, one of my favorite Zeldas. Uh -huh. Just spawned this whole lineup after that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah it's, it is my favorite Zelda game. It is? Oh, yep. nice. It's very weird and quirky. I love it. Mm -hmm. I hear it's Wind Waker, so I need to do something about that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it combines my two passions, drinking and video games. Yep. Which is exactly what Alaskans do in the wintertime. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so... I'll take one of these, just so people can know where to follow you. Sure thing, yeah. There we go, it's all focused. Yeah, and I'll definitely give you a follow. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'd be down with some collaborations. You're still, you're around Anchor now, right? I'm for Fairbanks. I got some buddies at Fairbanks, I'm trying to get up there. Uh -huh. so, some comics, so, uh -huh. perfect. Do some collaborations with that. Awesome, yeah. The creative type, so we've got to stick together, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right. Have fun at the con, dude. You too. Good luck.
Here we go. This is Ryan and Natalia. They just bought all four of my Jeff and Taylor volumes. So. Hi. Yeah. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Yeah. There's Doc Brown. Oh no. Yeah, I'm just recording, that's it. Oh. Hey, I'd love to give you a copy. Yeah, sure. Did you write it or draw it? I wrote it. Uh-huh. I just got a brand. Awesome. It's on my play. <laughs> It's almost time to close up, so I'll just um, slowly pack everything up. So here are the results. Saturday was very busy. Look at that. Sold all those prints and sketches. I ran out of paper. But today, you know, very modest. But I sold four books. Four Jeff and Taylor books. Oh, I, no, five Jeff and Taylor books. So it's awesome. Very awesome. Okay. So yeah, I'll just pack everything up. I have a plane to catch. Tonight. It leaves at 11, but I'll manage. Alright. Nice. So, who is this celebrity that I met? Well, admittedly, he's not a mainstream celebrity. He's a pro wrestler. And you know me, I love my combat sports. Right now I'm into boxing, but I was a huge wrestling fan. Started when I was a little thing, when I was watching WCW. And one of the wrestlers in WCW was Chavo Guerrero Jr. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero's nephew. They were like brothers, but technically they're uncle and nephew. But Chavo Guerrero, you know, I remembered him. In WWE, he, he played a great heel, a bad guy, when he won the Cruiserweight Championship. Man, I, I remember those days. I remember him fondly. But he was a guest at Arctic Comic Con. I was surprised when I saw the when I saw the you know little previews. So, you know, I I, I overheard the panel uh, that he was in interviewing him, and I thought that was uh, that was cool. It was cool to have that panel out in the main floor because that's where the whole convention was, in that whole main floor, not in another room or anything. So it, it was awesome. I I, I heard Sean Guerrero telling his stories. And, and I thought to myself while I was on the table, you know, I would like to meet him, you know. But, you know, I was so busy on that Saturday, uh, you know, soft with commissions. And, and you know, I, after that, on, on Sunday, when I had nothing to do, I got up and asked people to watch over my table. I, I looked around, and there was Chavo Guerrero in the, um, in the, guest, in the celebrity guest section. Uh, with uh, no, you know, no one was talking to him. He was in his you know, on his uh, on his booth, and I was like, "This is my chance. I'll go up to him." 
So, we met, we, we locked eyes, and then he was like, Hey, what's up, man? So he held out his hands, shook my hand, and he asked me my name, and I, and I told him it's Jeff. He's like, Jeff, hello, welcome. And, uh, you know, I told him right away, you know, I remembered you back in WCW. You know, and I watched you all those years. And he's like, man, that's a long time ago. So, um, our talk wasn't really long or anything, and I wasn't nervous. I talked to him like, you know, like any regular person. He's a very cool guy, Chavo Guerrero. Very cool. I told him that I was um, a cartoonist, an artist, and he thought that was very cool. He told me that, you know, he can't draw, and, you know, that's, that's awesome. You know, very modest too. So, so yeah, that's that's cool. I, I wanted to ask him ask him questions, but I, I forgot at the moment. There were going to be dumb questions like uh, about what's up with that Curran White um, angle back in um, what '05 or something, right before his uncle died. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to know what they were going to do with that Curran White persona. That was when, in, 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 in the scripted version, you know, since pro wrestling is scripted, he was going to play out, play as a white dude, you know. It's like he's a Mexican-American, but he just wants to be a white man. So he, he, you know, he had white face and everything. Kurt called himself Curran White. But then, uh, they, you know, WWE creative team, they scrapped it, you know, because to pay respects to Eddie Guerrero, his uncle who passed away so he can turn back into the real Chavo Guerrero, you know? But I forgot to ask that question, but it's not that important. But yeah, I got his autograph right here. Yes. And I took a picture with him, as you can see. Very cool. But yeah, it says here, thanks for watching. To Jeff. Viva la raza. Chavo Guerrero Jr. All right, so let's look at the swag I got. Pretty fun, but look. Look at business cards first. All right, Pharaoh the Fool. This can focus. Focus, people can't look at you. Please focus. Oh, this camera, man. I'm gonna have to speed up or something. There we go, Pharaoh the Fool. This is the guy who commissioned me to draw that uh, Rick and Morty art with Darth Vader. Yeah, Pharaoh Kane, rare and exotic art acquisitions. Yeah, this is his uh, his uh, his thing, his his information. So yeah, that's not a, that's not an Alaska area code. So I don't know where that's from. It has to be in the East Coast or something. I can tell from his accent. You know, he's cool. He's very nice. It's awesome. Here we go. Cross Grimwood Crossing. Written by Connor Bartell. And his uh, Turkish friend, he, you know, Connor, the guy who I, uh, who I, who I interviewed with his girlfriend, he wrote this comic, and it was illustrated by this guy from Turkey, so it's awesome. He, he also uh, want uh, talked to me and probably collaborating with him. So if I could, you know, that'd be awesome if I were to illustrate something for Connor. Yeah. So yeah, here's the information, the the website. You can you can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Grimwood's Crossing. And his, and Connor's girlfriend's uh, business card, Devin. Fire with art. Yeah, go support her. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she's only on Instagram. Which is fine. It's a, it's a very fine uh, um, uh, website. Social media website. I like Instagram more than Facebook. For real, for real. Yeah. Video Game Depot. Yep, I purchased something from them. This is a locally owned video game store. And yeah, you can, you know, find them here. If you're ever on Anchorage, go support local, you know. And what game did I buy? I bought Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. I've never played a Dissidia game before, but I've, I've always wanted to, just I never had a PSP. But man... All the main Final Fantasy characters and villains fighting each other, and again, I never, I never played this uh, this fighting game before. I don't, I don't know how it's like. I may like it, I may not, but I've always wanted to play it, so I have it. Yes, 
It's just I have Far Cry 5, you know? I'm still playing that, and I, have to, and I don't have enough time to play video games now because of, you know, my comic, which I like. I love working on my comic. Hold on. I'll save those for last. This guy. Unique Designs. He, uh, he, he just walked up to my, um, my, my booth and, and, uh, and passed this out. So yeah, if I ever wanted to make something professional, like very professional, I just contact this guy. Yeah, if, if, he, if I were to make it like a documentary, JFM Studios documentary, I'll contact them. That'd be cool. Care to donate? Uh, these, uh, these guys had their own booth. They want to um, stop uh, child hunger. So they had a little raffle. You know, people submitted their names. You know, uh, you know they they uh, they gave them money so to you know to raise for the for this charity. Um, and yeah, they and and practically, people wanted to play this raffle so they can win uh, free prizes from the from the artists. So I gave them a signed copy of Jeff and Taylor Quickies Volume One as a little raffle prize. So that's cool. I don't know who won it, but I hope they enjoy the book, and I thank them for their donation. I, I interviewed this dude. You saw him with the beard. Zach Leslie. Ill illustrations and graphic design. Just like me. Kinda. Only he's much better at graphic design. Much better. And illustration. He has his own style. Very fluid. Very, you know, John K-like. You know? <laughs> Oh, don't get me started on that John K. fiasco. But still, Zach, Zach, Zach Leslie is not like John K. in that way. He is cool. He's creative. Did you see his graphic design? I, I, you probably did. And this won't focus, but it looks like an elephant. No, it, no, it's a mammoth. It's a mammoth holding a beer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Stupid camera. All right, and I met these people on the airplane ride back. This girl, Pink Lady 3630, she was dressed up, you know, she was she, she sat next to me and I saw her um, her swag, you know, and I instantly knew that she was at the convention. Yeah, this is her. She she cosplays. So yeah, I, I knew she was at the convention and uh, we, we, we chatted a bit, and she gave me her, her business card, and I gave her mine. And this man next to us, he was in, sitting in the aisle, in the aisle row, in the aisle, the aisle seat, Sandy Jameson. He is an Alaskan artist. Look at that, three artists in a row. So yeah, that's, that's cool. I bought a uh, little mug man, uh, uh, popco, pop cup, something figure. I, f I forgot they were called. I'm pretty sure a lot of you will, uh, will write it down in the comments section, but you know, it's my first one, and I like mug man more than cuphead. You know, they're both cool, but still, I like mug man. It's, it's, it's a shame you can't pick mug man instead of cuphead. You know, you know how I do. I like blue. Oh look, I got, yes, yes, I got a little spinner. This was a gift, okay? Connor, he, he is, you know, he had a whole bunch of them that he got from uh, random people, and he's like, here, dude, have this. And I'm like, cool, my first fidget spinner. I don't get what the deal is with these, you know, you can't do much with them. Yeah, it feels funny, but still, why? <laughs> Why? And don't you dare, you know, people in the comment section say, Oh, JFM, you're a scene kid now. It's like, no, shut up, I ain't no scene kid. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Grim Wood Crossing. This is the graphic novel by Connor Bartell and... Atagun Ilhan? Atagun Ilhan. Uh, you know, that's a Turkish name, so... I'm not very good at Turkish. But look, the Turkish guy, he can draw, man. He's very good. This is professionally done. 
I haven't read it yet, but I know, you know, that Connor knows his stuff. He, he knows how to write very telling stories. So this is cool. This is like Marvel DC uh, quality here. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> you serious? You serious? You guys gotta buy this. Definitely. If you like westerns. So, yeah. All the swag. Well, it's time for me to wrap up this video. And, you know, I gotta say, I'll be back next year. Arctic Comic Con was great. The next convention I'll be going to will be a new one. Uki Sorakon in Helena, Montana. Nagukon is no more. So, uh, this new, a new group of people made Uki Sorakon, another anime convention, in the same spirit as Nagukon, only maybe a little different. Uh, same hotel building and everything. So I'd say is a, it's a it's Nagukan rebirth, you know. But you know I'm very excited for it, and a little nervous too. Yeah, I'm usually not nervous for conventions, but for this one I am a bit. I don't know, maybe 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 it's because it's Helena, you know. Uh, I do want to move there. So yeah, Arctic Comic Con was my tenth comic convention that I attended and sold at. So yeah, I hit a milestone, my tenth one. Give me a achievement, a badge, you know, video game reference. So, yeah, I've learned my lesson. I've learned what people want. I've learned what kids want. Man, if you saw the kids uh, coming at my table, they were watching me draw, you know, they were excited. And they loved my crazy cat uh, drawings. They loved that little fur ball. You know, it makes me happy that the kids like my original work, because, you know, uh, I'll, I'll definitely be drawing some more Crazy Cat prints for to print for uh, in the next uh, convention. I'll draw some more uh, Gravity Falls uh, pictures. I have two in mind, because, you know, the kids, they always notice Crazy Cat and Gravity Falls with Five Nights at Freddy's. All the time. That's what the kids want. I'll also be uh, getting some more stickers. Because uh, I like to hand those out for free. You know, I like to, you know, hand out my... I usually sell my Jeff and Taylor Shibby stickers, but, you know, if there's a little kid, uh, I like to, you know, give one to them, you know. In the convention, uh, a little girl fell, and, uh, and you know, she you know she hurt her, her elbow or something, and uh, she was crying. You know, her mom tried to comfort her, but I, you know, you know I felt bad, so I gave her... Um, one of my one of my Jeff and Taylor stickers to make her feel better. You know, it's uh, it's one of the things. You know, I just had to do it. I felt like I had to do something since she was crying in front of my table. You know, I just can't stand there or sit there. So yeah, if you ever want to uh, you know sell something at a convention, all it takes is you know time and patience. And, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, especially with me, I've, I've learned a lot of lessons, you know, it's trial and error, but you get better and better. And me, personally, I'm more comfortable with the smaller conventions now, but I'm branching out. Hopefully, once I get more money, I will go to uh, more conventions, more of the, of the bigger West Coast conventions. I would love to do something East Coast or... or you know, t just to meet my long-time uh, online friends, you know, to meet them. They live in, in these big towns, in the East Coast and Midwest. I'm like, oh, I want to go there. I want to meet them, but, you know, life. So, yeah, that's it. I don't want this video to be uh, running too long, so I'll let you guys go. Uh, more videos are on the way, more live streams, and look forward to summer. I've planned out a lot of good videos this summer. Me telling stories, vlogs, speed paints, and uh, and some special videos as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Jam out. Goodbye.